what's so up guys in this tutorial i'm kind of just continuing on the same project um if you haven't already started some of these pieces you might want to go back and look at my other videos um what we're going to do now is i'm just going to make a wall segment that's got like a, a hole for a doorway it's dead simple um, i'm not actually going to like modify this piece you could modify this piece but i just realized in my last tutorial i kind of went through stuff a bit quick so I'm just going to go a little bit slower with this one, I'm going to use this original piece. At the very end of the video I'll show you how you could just quickly modify this one as well. Um, so what we've got here is just this um, wall segment. Let's zoom in, I'll show you. Um, the character I've just put in just as a rough reference. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shift this over and I'm going to make a copy of that. Okay. So in order to make a copy, um, all I do is hold down shift and then click and drag. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm just going to name this. You notice I haven't named any of these yet. Um, so we'll just call it wall. Actually, we'll call it SM for static mesh and then underscore wall. Right, now, all I'm going to do is just hold down shift and I'm just going to click and drag just in that direction. And I'm just going to let go. Okay. It's going to ask me, do you want to make a copy? Yep, it's fine. Uh, so from here, what we want to do is just cut this up basically. Um, so in my last tutorial I've kind of done this but I'm just going to do it a little bit slower because I realized I flew through it fairly fast. Um, so what I'm going to do is just going to change my selection mode to edge mode and I just want to select these edges here. Okay, um, It's up to you what way you do it. I've just clicked and dragged a marquee around it which makes it quite easy because your marquee will go through your object select everything. So if I just click and drag a marquee there it'll get everything from that box. Um, the other way to do it is you can click and hold hold control. You can move around. Um, you can click on one and then ask it to get the ring. This is just an option over here. So it's straight away, there's three ways you can do it. Find the way that works for you. I'm just going to click and drag. So I've got all four. Um, just a little habit to get into. Just spin your model around. Just make sure you haven't selected anything by mistake. Um, so the example I always use is students. Just one time I was modeling and I was working away on like the head of a character and I didn't know I actually had like a bit of an ass cheek selected and I just ended up making a nose but also like a mutated nose on their butt as well so just be careful because otherwise you end up with like messed up that's what models sometimes so I got those edges selected I just want to come down here into my edit edges panel and we want to go to connect okay I'm gonna head on the settings for it so from here we've just got a bunch of settings we can modify um, so in terms of segments uh, because we're doing a door, I think we can get away with just one segment. Okay, I don't think we need to worry that much about it anymore. Okay, so this is just basically going to be the top of the door. So if you we use this guy here as a reference point, um, we're going to put that in first. Now that edge is still selected, so I can just modify this using the move tool. So if your move tool is not selected, just W on the keyboard will do that for you. So if I push Alt and W, let's pop out of this, and I go into the left view. Okay. I can see now the character's height, and I can see that edge as well. Now I can just gauge it. So I'm roughly okay with that. Okay. You could also measure this, measure this as well if you wanted. But I'm kind of quite happy that looks okay. From there, I'm just going to pop back into my. Um, perspective view. And now what we want to do is we want to cut this up in the other direction. Okay. Um, so same as before, we're in edge selection. We'll click and drag a box so we get all of them. Okay. Let's get this whole ring the whole way around. And um, we're going to go into connect again. This time, obviously, we need two. We turn over selections to two. <coughs> Sorry. And um, then we can just we can decide if we want to pin some. If you want to make them bigger or smaller, it's just up to you. Um, it it actually looked all right where it was, so maybe just around ten will be okay. Um, so again, just gauge it roughly off this character. <coughs> so maybe go lower, like maybe five. Five looks like it might work, and then all we do is just hit okay. Right, so that should be fine. So you can see now we've done it on both sides just so we get these two sections that we can now delete. Okay, so real 
quick way of doing that we're just going to come over to our where our edge mode is we go into polygon mode click on these faces and just delete them if you feel confident enough you could just drag a box over them and just delete them if you want it okay and make sure you delete that bottom one as well there we go so that's looking all right okay so now we've got that hole cut out there's all we got really got to do is just follow up these kind of edges and kind of tidy things up a bit um so again like i said in the last tutorial there's a couple of ways you can do that like some people might decide to try it with a border edge um which in this case probably won't work that well okay so what we're going to do is we're just going to use the bridge tool so all i'm doing is just going into edge mode um and i'm just going to like bridge these bits um i'm actually just going to start down here with this one here Okay, I'm just going to select this tiny little edge here and the one that's opposite it and I'm going to bridge that first. Okay, um, The reason for that is I want to keep the edge flow going. So you notice when I put this one in here it's going to leave a new edge there and that's going to continue that loop on. This is going to help me a little bit with lighting in the long run. Okay, um, So from there you can just Can try it like this to be honest i've not tried it like this so this could go hard or wrong no it doesn't there you go i quite don't know why i sound so surprised um so you can do them one massive chunk like that at a time uh, another way of doing it is you could do this one first and hit bridge and then that there is going to leave you a border then so you can grab the border and you could actually cap it if you want it okay so there's a couple of different ways you can do it but basically quite important that you stitch it up together um i'm just going to undo it and then i'll show you the way that i would do it i would grab this edge here and this edge and i would bridge those two together because all i'm worried about is my edge flow um so this edge here now is going to continue around um, so i'll bridge that and then I would just either bridge or cap those ones okay and that's it again then just to be safe you can go into your X view and give it a test for like overlapping vertices so you can see now we've got zero overlapping vertices um, so the last thing I'm going to do is just pop into my hierarchy here and I'm just going to rename this underscore door and then we'll head out there okay um, so that's it done so we should have at this stage if you've been following all the tutorials corner wall segment straight wall segment one with a window and one with a door um, the way that you could modify this one just dead quickly is if I make a duplicate of it if you are following the tutorials in sequence you could come into face mode here delete these and then just do the same bridge um, but it's up to you what what way you want to work it okay um so i'll say be updating tutorials every week don't forget to like subscribe um it, twitter's on there if you're interested in anything in the games industry and stuff um give us a give us a follow on twitter um any comments or anything as well just let me know cheers